Voters in Benton County will have some issues to decide during an election next month. The Benton County Auditor released a list of key dates ahead of that February 13th election. A logic and accuracy test takes place tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Election Center. Though te those tests aim to ensure ballot tabulating equipment is accurate and it is open to the public. Washington State today began its latest legislative session. Tomorrow, Washington State Governor Jay Inslee will give his State of the State address. That happens at noon before a joint session of the State House and State Senate. The governor will give the address in the House Chambers at the State Capitol in Olympia. This evening, the Benton County Sheriff's Office is holding a public hearing to get your thoughts about possibly using facial recognition technology during investigations. Apple Valley News Now's Alyssa Warner is live in Prosser. And Alyssa, you got to talk with investigators about what this would look like. Hey Jill, so yeah, a lot of times when we hear facial recognition, that brings to mind a lot of scary things that we see on TV or in the movies. But what I'm hearing from the Benton County Sheriff's Department is that's not what we're talking about here. I talked with Detective Brandon DeMeyer who says this facial recognition program can only compare pictures kind of like a person would do if they had enough time. If you have a picture of a suspect, what happens next? So we'll upload that photo into uh, the program called Clearview AI. They compare that photo, Clearview compares that photo to over 40 billion plus publicly available images. Um, and then we'll provide possible matches to that, to that image. The Sheriff's Office will then follow up on those leads. They're, they're, that's what they are, they're simply leads. Okay, so you heard him mention those publicly available images. That basically means something that you could theoretically find with a Google or Bing or Yahoo search. Now, if your social media is set to public, those pictures could be included in the search. But if you have your privacy settings turned on, and now I do mean actual privacy settings, not just a copy paste saying that you don't get Facebook permission to use your pictures. If you have your actual privacy settings turned on, then the program won't be able to see what you've posted online. Now, I also think it's really important to note here that the program does not include live surveillance. That's what you're thinking of from Hollywood, where you know, you're know you seeing traffic cameras and security feeds. That's not what's happening here. This is only pictures that have already been posted online. Now, Detective DeMeyer told me the system doesn't even have access to the mugshots coming in from the Benton County Jail unless they are part of maybe an online news story, for example. So if the sheriff's office wanted to change that and to expand the access of what pictures they have, they would have to go through this entire process again with the hearings like the one that's about to happen coming up at 7 o'clock tonight here in Prosser. So we'll have that for you coming up tomorrow morning on Good Morning Northwest. And we're also talking about some of the concerns that come with this type of technology, some of the privacy concerns. We're going to delve more into that coming up tonight at 630. But for right now, Jill, I'll send it back to you in the studio.